Hi, I'm Gregory Pope, founder of SpinalSurgeryMexico.com. We're here today in the city of Carretero to pick up Paul Wilcott. He's here to have a surgery with Dr. Mario Simone, MD, FACS, at one third of the cost that it would cost him in the United States or Canada. Paul is from Canada. Last week, we, we were here one week ago to pick up Christina Gates, which was from Canada, to have a cervical disc uh, replacement. And this week, Paul is coming in to have a lumbar surgery with Dr. Simone. And you'll be able to get a lot more information as we go along. Thank you very much for watching. Hi, this is Paul. He's just flown in from Canada to meet with Dr. Mario Simone, MD, FACS. Paul's going to have a surgery with Dr. Simone. It's a little late to go to the hospital today, so he's going to spend the night in the Holiday Inn. We're going to pick him up in the morning, and I did get you Star Medica Hospital, okay? okay? Yep. And so the Suburban is here now to pick us up. Come on, Paul, let's go. Y'all good? Yeah. Okay. Dr. Simone, I'd like for you to meet Paul. Hi, Paul. Paul this is you? Dr. Hi, Simone. Nice to meet you. So, we're, Hi, how are you, Dr. Simone? It's good Hi, to see you again. Good to see you. We're going to get Paul admitted into the hospital and let you do your, uh, your consult with him and uh, get him ready for surgery tomorrow morning. Okay, perfect. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling okay. Star Medica's patient suite is elegant and spacious with one bath and TV. The salon also has another bath and TV offering privacy and space for your guest. Hello, I'm Dr. Salmon. Uh, I'm here at Casa Marino. We came to see Paul Wilcott, which is the last patient I operated on from lumbar spine. Paul was here uh, to have lumbar spine surgery which we did 12 days ago. Now uh, he's uh, having a great outcome and he's ready to fly to Canada back home. Uh, you can see, I'm gonna show you some images. You can see in the first image, it's a pulse MRI. At your left hand, you can see a lateral view which depicts uh, L3, L4, L5 vertebra. And in the right hand, you can see uh, transfer cuts at L3, L4, where I uh, draw with green uh, color the spinal canal, which is a normal spinal canal. It should be like that, like a triangle uh, form. And the next image, you can see the same at the, your left, the lateral view, the L3, L4, L5, and at your right hand, you can see also uh, depicted in green, the spinal canal, which is totally abnormal because of the scar tissue. That was uh, the lesion Paul had. He have had two previous lumbar surgeries. Now you can see in the images, there is a big scar there, which uh, has given him uh, sciatic pain in the right leg, and he also had a very, very, uh, particular lumbar pain almost all day. He told us when he woke up in the morning, he, he always had that pain. And now at 12 days post-operative, he hasn't had that pain in the morning and he hasn't had also the sciatic pain. He's doing very well and I already took out stitches today and he's ready to, pl to fly back home. Okay, hi, uh, my name is Paul, I'm from Canada, and uh, I had a uh, surgery done here in Mexico um, by a uh, wonderful, wonderful neurosurgeon uh, by the name of Dr. Simone, and I had my surgery done uh, about 12 days ago now. Prior to uh, getting my surgery done, um, I did a little bit of homework on Dr. Simone, um, just to find out his experience. and. Uh, Dr. Simone is a, uh, a neurosurgeon who's a member of the uh, FACS, which is the uh, 
uh, fellow American uh, College of Surgeons, uh, which uh, um, for me was really important. I really wanted to make sure that um, I, I, I knew his resume, and he has a wonderful resume for doing uh, all kinds of complicated uh, um, back surgeries. So in my situation in Canada was I've had chronic back problems for uh, over 20 years now. I, uh, I actually had two previous surgeries. I had one surgery done in 1999, uh, which was an open back surgery. And uh, I had another microsurgery done in 2006. And I hurt myself about four years ago again. And um, my problem uh, was a little bit more complicated because of my previous surgeries and the, uh, the scar tissue that I had. And so, in fact, uh, I was going to a uh, um, doctor uh, in, uh, in Canada, and they basically told me that I had uh, the chances of, a, of another surgery working for me was only 25% success rate. Um, and that was because of all my previous surgeries and complications uh, that I had. So um, basically, um, I had been going to a uh, care center uh, in Calgary, uh, getting lots of physiotherapy done. They, they, uh, they were doing spinal injections, which were not working. And I came to the realization that uh, I was going to pretty much spend uh, the rest of my life uh, on painkillers. Uh, that, that was really how they wanted to treat the problem. And um, so I wasn't really happy with that. And on top of that, um, it could have taken, you know, at least, you know, two to four years uh, just to be able to see a neurosurgeon in Canada to do the surgery, in which case he may not even uh, have decided to do it just because of my previous uh, surgery. So what I basically did was I started to uh, search for another solution. So... I, uh, I just didn't search um, uh, Mexico. I actually uh, sent my MRI out to uh, four different locations. I sent it to Germany, uh, I sent it to Israel, uh, I sent it to uh, Croatia, and I sent it to Mexico. And um, the, the reason why I selected Mexico uh, wasn't so much the price aspect of it, actually. It was the answers that I got from Dr. Simone. All the other uh, places were talking about microsurgeries. Basically, the, 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 the reason why I, I chose Dr. Simone uh, was because of his explanation for uh, needing to uh, uh, do an open surgery with me in order to make enough space. Um, and the other thing that Dr. Simone talked about as well is doing a different kind of surgery in terms of stabilization versus a fusion. And Dr. Simone is one of the uh, few doctors who knows about this uh, new technology with these screws. It basically allowed me to keep my, my disc and it'll allow for more flexibility in my back. So um, I had, we had a, uh, phone interviews uh, with Dr. Simone. We talked to him over the phone for like about half an hour. He answered all my questions and uh, we basically liked what he had to say. So the thing I want to explain is, you know, you know, cost is one thing, but also uh, the fact that uh, Dr. Simone is very specialized um, was, um, was really important uh, as well. There, there was a lot of questions I had about the surgery. I was very nervous about the surgery, I'm not going to lie. Uh, and I asked him lots of questions about the technology that he was using in terms of the screws that he used and you know he didn't blow me off at any time and even uh, post-op he, um, he, he did a very good job of explaining exactly what he did uh, and how he did it. There was a lot of doctors who basically told me that there was no you know the chances of success for me was 25 percent and they said that you know a surgery wasn't going to work well Dr. Dr. Simone didn't say that. Dr. Dr. Simone actually looked at a what can we do to fix the problem? I think one of the probably biggest misconceptions about uh, getting a surgery done in Mexico, if, if, if people are from Canada, is the misconception that uh, the facilities are not up to uh, the same grade as Canada. 
And the thing I want to say is that the, uh, the hospital where, where I got my surgery done was, was very good. It was very nice. Um, the nursing staff was excellent. Uh, the facility was great. So uh, if you have any doubts about, about that, you know, I, I would say that uh, that for sure is not an issue. When I had my surgery, I had a, uh, my own private room in the hospital and I, and I stayed there for three nights. Uh, before I was released, and I was only released uh, uh, when, until Dr. Simone uh, believed that I was ready to leave. The other thing that was uh, a real advantage or a real plus uh, in terms of my recovery after surgery was my stay at the uh, Casa Marino. It really helped uh, in the sense that uh, every day um, I was getting uh, really good care and I was getting physiotherapy on a daily basis. So um, their uh, private uh, physical therapist uh, came to see me on a daily basis and uh, she was wonderful. Um, she's extremely uh, skilled and knowledgeable at what she does um, and that helped me uh, a lot. Um, and it's really important when you get a surgery done to go through and, and, and to get the physiotherapy. Uh, physiotherapy is a is a, is, a, is a really uh, you know, important aspect of, of uh, recovery. So, uh, so at the retreat, uh, um, all your meals are taken care of, um, you know, and the staff are great, and they, they, uh, they, they help you, and you don't have to you know, worry about anything, basically. So another uh, really nice aspect of uh, my experience here uh, was uh, spending time uh, at the retreat in uh, San Miguel. San Miguel is is, uh, is just a beautiful city. And so on a daily basis, I would do my physiotherapy and then later on I would uh, get to walk around uh, and experience San Miguel. And it, um, there's, there's lots of things to do and it's almost, uh, so it's almost like having a little holiday. When, when you are walking around uh, San Miguel, uh, it's extremely safe. It's a very safe uh, and beautiful city. At no time, uh, do you feel, uh, you know, like you're, you're not safe? It's just been a really, really good experience. Um, I think my surgery went really well. Um, it went better than expected, uh, to be honest. Uh, I, I have a feeling that um, I'm going to be close to 100% here very soon. I just want to thank um, everybody here, uh, including uh, Dr. Simone, uh, Greg, and uh, the staff here at uh, the Casa Marino. Um, it, was a, um, it was a great experience uh, for me, and I'm, I'm very thankful. Good afternoon. I want to thank Paul and Dr. Simone for doing the video and explaining everything that he had to do to help Paul in his case. Paul had a very difficult case because of the two prior surgeries that he had and the scar tissue that manipulated the nerve and Dr. Simone was the only one that gave him the hope that he needed to be able to take out that scar tissue, relieve the pressure from the nerve, and allow him to be able to go back to a full mob mobility that he once had. And that was done because he had the stabilization process, uh, procedure done versus a fusion. And plus, there were so many doctors that didn't want to uh, tried to attack the problem that he had because of the scar tissue. They didn't think that they were able to do it. Yet Dr. Simone is so skilled that I never had a doubt. Please, if you know anybody that we can help, feel free to send me an email or a phone, uh, phone call, and I'll be sure to try to help you in any way possible. And thank you for watching the video.